so can you tell me a little bit about your music? Uh, I started off about in 99 doing R&B music, but right now I'm doing a solo thing, doing more popish stuff. So. so what are your inspirations? Uh, of course, it's probably a, a given, but Michael Jackson, of course, and Brian McKnight, and Usher, all these artists. So. so can you do anything like crazy, maybe play the piano backwards like Alicia Keys or something like that? I'm going to have to practice that one. <laughs> it's in the book of things to learn, right? Definitely. So what instruments do you play? Do you play anything? Um, I learned piano when I was younger. Right now, I don't actually play instruments. Uh, um, that's about it, the piano and the clarinet. Oh, I actually played clarinet at one point. They're great. They're great. Yeah, they make you do it in school, right? Yeah, I had no choice, so. <laughs> but you liked it anyways, and clearly you enjoy music, so. So who would you like to work with? Any famous artists that you'd like to work with in the future? Um, actually, somebody I've already worked with, I wouldn't mind working with again, was Jason Derulo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's your favorite song of his? Uh, I have to promote in my head, because I actually did the cover, the Korean cover for it, in Korea. And then when he came to Korea for his showcase, me and him actually did a showcase together, so. And where was that at? Thousand Soul. Seoul, Korea. And can we expect any performances from you here in California and Hollywood at all? Actually performing tomorrow night. Uh, they're having the Corey M Gala tomorrow night. Uh, it's a 2010 unforgettable event and award show tomorrow night. And uh, I was invited to be a guest performer. So. Wow. And alongside, who else is performing over there? Uh, I believe season five winners of America's Best Dance Crew. They're going to be performing as well. And uh, I forget the other people's names, but yeah. That'd be a lot of good people, though. And so are you going to be working with anybody else in the near future? Any other artists? Um, I actually worked with a European artist named Jade Valerie from the group Sweetbox. And the single came out last week in Asia. Uh, hopefully, I think next year it comes out in the States. So. Would you say your fan base is bigger in Korea or bigger in the States? Of course, since I started in Korea, I'd say Korea, but uh, nowadays, it's, it's just crazy. It's a global you know, world right now. So uh, I'm amazed that I get emails from fans from like New Zealand and Iceland and stuff like that. So I mean, I think it's more of a, a worldwide thing, not just America or, or Korea thing anymore. So. And are there any countries that your music hasn't been heard in yet where you'd like to get more um, acknowledged? I wouldn't know. Um, Cambodia? I don't know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> you never know. I'm sure one day <laughs> you can bring a little boombox over there and get some people to follow you. Yeah. It was really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>